Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we're going to be testing and reviewing makeup from famous Etsy shops. As you beautiful people know, any tip you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. So I'm kind of an Etsy makeup virgin. I have never tried any cosmetic product whatsoever from there, so I'm very excited for this. How I found these brands was by typing in whatever product I wanted, like foundation or blush or eyeshadow, and whatever product came up that had the most reviews was what I got. So if you know of really big, famous Etsy shops and you want me to test their makeup, comment their store name down below and we can do more of these. I mean, this is all so new to me, so I am definitely down for suggestions. Anyways, first up, we have a few eyeshadows. These are from Spectrum Cosmetics. They have over 32,000 in sales, which is not too bad in my opinion. We have a red eyeshadow called Bloodbath that was $3.50 for this little jar. We also have a matte bright orange eyeshadow called Atomic. Then we have a neutral brown eyeshadow called Dirty 30 and Citrus Orange Cosmetic Glitter, both of which were $3.50 and you get them in three gram jars, so that's really not that bad. They were having a sale and I did get 10% off, so my total with shipping was $16.10 for these four eyeshadows. Looking at the total, that actually does seem kind of expensive for just four eyeshadows, but then again, they are handmade, they're handcrafted, so I can appreciate the price. For blush, I got this from Addictive Cosmetics. This was, I think, around $2.50, and then with shipping, it was a little over $5. But they did send another blush with it. It kind of looks like a bronzy color. They're both very pretty. This is one of the larger stores. They've had 40,000 sales, so pretty fucking impressive. And lastly, we have Parlo Cosmetics, which this is one of the smaller Etsy shops. They only have about 3,400 sales, which to me is actually kind of a shit ton, so I use the term smaller very lightly. But let's open this up. I haven't even taken a look at this. I haven't really even looked at or swatched any of these because I wanted it to be a surprise. We have a neutral mineral beige foundation. This is a little sample. It was $2.50, not too bad. And then we have a San Frantastic. I think this is bronzer. Yes, this is San Frantastic Mineral Bronzer. This is a little sample size as well. It was only $2 and you actually do get quite a bit of product in here. Then we have this neutral toned natural concealer also in the shade beige. This was $2 and they also sent a free little eyeshadow. This is mineral eyeshadow in the shade Big Top. Again, these products were on sale. I think I got 20% off for Memorial Day, but my total with shipping was $7.46 and that's pretty damn affordable for all this product. I mean, if it works. I'm guessing it all works because every Everything had really fucking good ratings. So I always do my foundation and concealer first and then set powder on my eyes to catch any fallout. But because this is already a powder, I don't think I can do that. I think we're gonna have to start with my eyes and then put foundation and concealer on after. I honestly didn't even think to order a primer, so I'm just gonna go in with my NYX eyeshadow base and I'm gonna put it all over my lid up to my brow. Oh my gosh, there are still little random specks of glitter on my face from trying Rihanna's new makeup line out. Oh, that stuff has so much fucking glitter in it. Also, because we are kind of rolling into fall, I did get yellowy, orangey, reddish shades, which I know we use a lot on this channel, but these are what people are wearing a lot right now, so I thought they might be a little bit more relatable than the more dramatic colors. First up, we have Atomic, which is this very, very pretty yellow. It's not lemon yellow, but it is definitely brighter than a burnt yellow. And I noticed that once it hit my skin, it turned kind of like an orangey color. I don't know if that's the moisture in the air or what, but it does change color slightly. Next up, we have Bloodbath. And honestly, the shadow is kind of gritty and really patchy. I mean, it is pretty, but again, once it hit the air, it just did something really weird on my finger. Like it stuck to it and turned darker. I don't know if that's the moisture in my skin or what, but it's just really weird. It's not like a normal eyeshadow. Next up is this gorgeous shimmer, Dirty 30. I really do like this a lot. Like it went on very smoothly. It was super easy to apply. There's not a lot of fallout whatsoever. And it's just a really nice neutral shade. And finally, we have the glitter pigment citrus, which I had to tap on my hands because it's a glitter. It's not supposed to glide on. And it did very, very well for there not being any primer laid down. Like it stuck to my hand very nicely. So I'm super excited to use this one. I did prime my eyes. And even though I don't have any foundation or concealer on. I did put powder under them to catch any fallout because we all know that glitter is going to have some serious fallout. And I know from swatching it just now, it makes a huge ass mess. So we are going to play it safe. I'm going to start with a bit of Atomic on a nice fluffy brush. And that's what we're going to use as our transition color. So I'm going to put this right here on the outside and then bring it right up the crease and blend the fuck out of it. Ooh, pigmentation, honey. Yes. I will say though that once it did hit the primer, it instantly changed colors. Like it got darker and now it's kind of like a burnt yellow, almost orangey. Like its brightness just totally disappeared, which honestly isn't that big of an issue for me because it still is a really pretty color. It is a little bit difficult to blend out though, not gonna lie. Okay, so I really do like this color. I think it's very pretty, but I can also see that it's kind of on the splotchy side. So I wanna give these the best chance possible. I think I'm gonna wipe this off, reprime it, and set it with translucent powder because 
because for some reason, I think the primer is not playing nicely with this shadow. There we go. Let's try this again. I have some fresh shadow on the brush. Let's go ahead and put it right in the crease. See if that made any difference whatsoever. Ooh, yes. What do you think? I mean, to me, that looks a bit better. Let me keep blending this out. Yes, that is so much better. It is blending out like a dream and I really did not need very much product at all. Ooh, but I love that color and it is quite a bit brighter on camera like I'm looking in my monitor right now and what I'm seeing in person is more of like a mustard yellow and I think what you guys are seeing is more like a sunny yellow. I may be wrong, you guys might be seeing exactly what I'm seeing, but either way, it is still gorgeous. I'm just gonna put this all over the crease and kind of bring it down the bridge of my nose just a tiny bit. Oh, so pretty, like I don't even mind this shadow alone, like I could just line my eyes, put on some falsies and I would be totally good. Now on a new clean brush, I'm gonna take the only other matte that we have, which is Bloodbath and we'll start very, very lightly right here on the outer corner and just kind of blend it out. I wanna see what it does first. Oh, that is patchy. This is not my favorite of the two. Like the yellow definitely wins. I have no idea if you can see this or not, but right there where I first initially applied it, it's turning like dark purple, kind of like plum. And it's just, oh, it's patchy. This is definitely not as orange as I wanted it to be. This is turning more into like a sunset look rather than a nice fall look. It's just a bit inconsistent and yeah, it is kind of hard to blend out. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. And it's turning like a weird like bluish gray color right there. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, damn, that disappoints me. I'm trying to decide if I should wipe that off or if I should add some orange glitter in the middle and just make it like a Halloween-y look. And no, it's really not the worst thing in the world, but the yellow one was just so good, so I did have really high hopes for this red shadow. Normally, I'd apply glue before the glitter, but all I have left is black eyelash glue, so I'm just gonna go in with some shape tape right on the inner half of my eye. And we are gonna cut the crease just a little bit because I feel like if we're going dramatic with glitter, we might as well go all the way, bitch. And I guess we'll just apply it with our finger. That might be the best method. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes. Oh, now this looks so patchy where the glitter's at. Ugh, that's nasty. This is just a huge ass mess. I think I'm gonna actually start over and just use the yellow shade with maybe like a nice shimmer that I have here because this is some bullshit. This glitter would probably be fine with glue. I don't know. I mean, I've never really had an issue putting glitter on concealer, but because it looks like shit, Let's start over. And we're back to the original look. I feel like Kim Ty when she was reviewing the Anastasia subculture palette, she had to keep starting over. So the only thing that I really like so far is this yellow. The red was just splotchy, so I didn't like it. I mean, this glitter was mostly my fault that it didn't work, so I can't really say I don't like that. Let's go ahead and apply a little bit of Dirty 30 right here on the inner corner just to help make it pop. Ugh, oh, honestly, I like this better, Matt. This shade does not go good with this yellow at all, which is very weird because online, it looked like it matched perfectly. It honestly doesn't really show up that much, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to this side as well to even it out, but if I had my way, I would have just kept the yellow. Before I continue with the rest of my eyes, let's go ahead and apply some foundation. Oh my god, this is so messy. Holy shit. Ah, uh, uh, shit, this looks way too light and way too yellow for me, but it's all we have to work with today, so we're gonna use it, and I'm sure you have to prime with this stuff, so I am gonna go in with NYX's Gold Primer. And to tell you the truth, I've honestly never used a powder foundation on its own. Like, I've set my other foundation with a powder foundation because I want my makeup to look an inch thick, but I've never used it standing alone. So I'm just gonna kind of guess here on, oh, how to use it. I did put quite a bit on my brush. Let's go ahead and apply it to the skin. Oh my God, way too much. Oh, <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. No, maybe it is softening my skin a little bit. Like, can you see a difference between the sides? Maybe a little bit? There are directions on this. I'm gonna try some of this on an oval brush. Maybe that'll do something. Huh, okay, that does seem to help a bit. I mean, this is nothing at all like a cream foundation. It doesn't give you very much coverage at all, but it is smoothing my skin out. I feel satisfied, but unsatisfied at the same time. Like, I like the way it looks. Like, it's just very smooth on my skin, but it doesn't really look like I'm covering very much. It's almost like a very, very light BB cream. It doesn't look that bad. Like, it's very, very natural on the skin, and obviously it did have some coverage because 
because I look a lot more pale than I normally do. I think I might actually like powder foundation. What the hell? Now we'll try their powder concealer. I have no idea how to apply this, so I'm just using a normal brush with it. And I did get a bit brighter just to highlight my under eye. Do we see anything happening? I'm gonna try going in with a dry beauty blender. Maybe that'll help a bit. Oh, there we go. That is really cool, shit. And it actually does look really nice. Like it's not creasing a bunch under my eye like a normal concealer would. This is just opening my eyes to a whole new world of makeup. Like my under eyes actually look really freaking good. The fact that I only put a powder on underneath there is amazing. Wow, I just wanna add some more. Now we can bronze my face up a bit if I can get this fucking thing open. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Why? Ooh, I got it. Whew, damn. This is a really pretty shade. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, which I typically don't like shimmer in my bronzers. I like to keep it matte because I also use that as a contour, but we'll work with this. It does look really pretty though. Tap the excess out of my brush and let's go. Um, it is doing something. I mean, it's definitely darkening it up. Hello, cheekbones. It just is really dark, and I mean, I did not put very much on there at all, plus I shook it out. Holy fuck. I'm gonna just go over that a little bit with this foundation brush that I used before. Maybe that'll help smooth it out. Let's go ahead and try on this side. So, yes, this does work very nicely, but not only is it not my color, it is just way too pigmented for me. See, but when I look in the monitor, it doesn't really look that bad, but in person, it just looks muddy and kind of like I got beaten up. But since this is really all we have, I'm just gonna use this like I would a normal bronzer. Oh, damn, I forgot about the bronzer from Addictive Cosmetics. This one is very, very shimmery. That almost doesn't even look like a blush, but I think I am gonna go over that and act like it's a bronzer before I apply my blush. Maybe that'll give me a little bit more life. Oh my, oh my. It did definitely warm my face up, but now it just looks like I have a yellow right there, just like I got punched. Oh, this is not a good day for makeup. But this was Addictive Cosmetics Buckwheat Mineral Blush. I know it was a blush, but it definitely looks like a bronzer shade too. And I mean, when you blend everything out, it really doesn't look that bad. I did go ahead and clean this brush off, and now we're gonna use Addictive Cosmetics Petunia Mineral Blush. This is a very, very nice, soft kind of baby pink color. I thought it'd be kind of nice and refreshing for today. Oh my, oh my. I think this is not good looking. I think it's because it's so freaking pigmented. Like all of these are really pigmented, which I mean, isn't a bad thing, but it's hard to judge how much you have and how much you should put on. Yeah, yeah. I did go ahead and line my eyes and apply some falsies. And for lips, I'm using ColourPop's tool and I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that yellow atomic and I'm just gonna try smoking it out right underneath. And this is where I would normally apply mascara to the bottom lashes, but I'm actually gonna skip that step for this video because last week when I did that, I had a really bad reaction to the mascara after I finished filming. So we're going to avoid that and act like I actually have lower lashes here. And of course I need a highlighter. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of this Dirty 30 and I'm just gonna apply it right here on the cheekbones. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I like it more as a highlighter than I do an actual eyeshadow. And we'll pop a little right here on the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, so pretty. I believe that's pretty much all the products that we got. So I do want to do a wear time test with this. I will see you in just a second. And we are back. We're just now hitting the six hour mark. I mean, I haven't really done much. I've just been sitting here editing. So I didn't put this through that much strain, but it does look pretty much the exact same. Honestly, I am kind of surprised with some of these products. Like based on the review, I thought they'd perform a lot better, especially this bloodbath shadow. It just did not cut it for me. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was just splotchy and it changed colors really quickly. I just was not feeling it. This glitter was fine. It was more my fault that it didn't work, except for the fact that online it looked so good with these shadows, but in person it didn't match them at all. So that does kind of piss me off a little, but I mean, we can definitely find some good use for this. The Addictive Cosmetics blushes were very pretty in color, but they were just way too pigmented to be used as blushes. Like I put a very, very small amount on the brush, plus I tapped it, plus I rubbed it out, but still so much product went on my cheeks and I ended up having to go over that with translucent powder and that's really not good to have to do. And the same goes for this Parlo bronzer. Like when I hold it up to my skin, it looks like it'd be a good shade, but when I put it on, it just looked gray and not good. That's not necessarily their fault because this totally could be the perfect shade for somebody. It just was not my shade and the pigment 
pigmentation was just too much. However, I fucking adore their concealer and their foundation. Like, I was not expecting that just from a powder. I think it looks beautiful. It's not quite my color, but it's still applied magnificently. It still looks good, and I am impressed. And truthfully, out of everything that we tried today, I think my favorite thing was this Spectrum Cosmetics Atomic Eyeshadow. Like, it is so pretty. Even as a standalone shadow, it just works. And now that the look is pretty much complete, I'm really not that mad at myself that I used Dirty 30 on the eyes, but this as a highlighter is so fucking orgasmic. Like, not gonna lie, my pants have been very tight the entire time I've been holding this. Like I said before, if you like this series and you know of any famous makeup Etsy shops you want me to review products from, please let me know. Don't forget, my newest collection of highlighters, including Nightlife, which does glow in the dark, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest single, One Last Night, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official lady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.